Okay, so it's time for an update. Um, it's been a little while and a couple things have come up. A few things um, at some speaking engagements that I've done that I want to address. Uh, so first of all, the Abbott Labs private letter ruling. Um, last week, the IRS came out and said, we will be issuing guidance on uh, this generally. So they will not be accepting any more uh, private letter ruling requests. Uh, that's good news, bad news. The bad news is if you were looking to get a private letter ruling, um, there, uh, there's no opportunity for that. But the good news is uh, they are going to be providing some sort of guidance as to how to potentially um, use, combine your retirement plan with the student loan repayment feature. So that's number one. Uh, number two, um, I'm continuous, I continuously hear this sort of, um, you know, my young people don't want to save. They're never going to save. No financial wellness program is going to help them save. Um, I, you know, uh, they, they don't think about retirement. I agree with that, except um, uh, I think about 80% of the ills, the financial ills or, you know, financial well-being issues can be addressed with budgeting. I think when you show anybody that they're spending $18 a day at Starbucks or whatever that is um, and, and uh, can show them what that can do, uh, I, th I think that you'll see results. Finally, I'm also getting the same message about um, sort of the people on the lower end of the socioeconomic spectrum. I hear this, you know, especially about single working mothers that, um, you know, they have different spending priorities, putting food on the table, you know, and, and paying bills. And again, that just, you know, I, I want to say to the people that say that, you know, look in the mirror and say that a couple times, or better yet, look at some of these folks that we're trying to help and say it a couple times to them. Um, if we can't help those people, we shouldn't be doing this. Should not be addressing financial wellness or financial literacy issues if you're not helping the people who are most stressed about their finances. That's my two minutes for today. Uh, have a great day and a great week. Thanks.